specific training in the realms of physical chemistry. Uh, today I'm going to run through a few uh, undergraduate level, high school level um, chemistry questions. Uh, so here's our, our first one. Uh, what is the pH of a 2.8 molar acetic acid solution? Uh, and it gives the Ka value for acetic acid. So um, our reaction is going to be acetic acid going to uh, CH3COO minus plus H plus. I'm just going to migrate that down a little bit. Um, so it gives them the question um, that we have um, our concentration is 2.80 molar and it gives our Ka value of 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. Okay, so in this case our Ka is going to be, so we take the products, divide by the reactants, so COO minus, concentration of H plus, over our concentration of CH3, COOH. Okay, so this is at equilibrium, so we wouldn't use our starting concentration as these are equilibrium concentrations, but to find that, we can use our ice table where we have uh, initially 2.8 molar CH3COOH uh, and zero of the other two. Our change is going to be minus X. So for each mole that we use up of CH3COOH or acetic acid, we're going to produce a mole of each. So it'll be plus X, plus X. And so the equilibrium, and I'm just gonna cut out the unit here uh, just for uh, clarity. And so those are gonna be our equilibrium concentrations. And so then we can plug these values or th these variables into our Ka expression. So our Ka, um, and so this is acetic acid. This is uh, the acetate ion, and this is H plus. So we can plug these equilibrium concentrations into the appropriate values of our Ka expression. All right, so it's X times X over 2.8 minus X. And we're given that Ka is 1.8 times 10 to the minus five. Um, so we can work this out and it will actually be a bit lengthy because it'll involve solving a quadratic equation, um, but we can make a bit of a simplifying assumption here which is because the Ka value is so small, X is likely going to be very small. And so then this is about 2.8. 2.8 minus X is going to be approximately 2.8. And that'll make things significantly easier because then we have X squared over 2.8 is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5 or x is the square root of 2.8 times 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5 and putting this through our calculator we find that x is 0 0.0071 molar and that kind of validates this assumption, right? Because 2.8 minus this value is pretty much 2.8, right? It's 2.7, uh, 2.793. So approximately 2.8, uh, especially to the significant digits that, that were given. 
Um, so looking back at our ice table or our Ka expression, right? X we were using as our concentration of H plus at equilibrium. So that means that this, that our concentration of H plus is this value. So that's 0 0.0071 molar. And so the question asks, what is the pH? So pH is the negative logarithm of our H plus concentration, um, or the negative logarithm of 0.0071, which is equal to uh, 2.15. So that's our pH. Um, given given the values in the question. Um, okay, so let's follow this. So, um, and if we had used H three O plus uh, instead of H plus, it would have changed nothing um, because, as as you recall, or as you may recall, H two O wouldn't be included in our equilibrium expression. So we could use H two O, but that wouldn't matter. Our, uh, and so the solution is, is correct. <clears throat> okay.